last but not least, the K, key biology. And we'll talk a bit about the key biology because that's a part that really is where we get the most benefit. Um, as the others have already been, certainly the chemistry has been done to death and uh, the connections are actually very important. So you can imagine we've got a triangle. All connected, isn't it? So on that apex we have N, nutrients. On this one we have P, physical structure, and on here we have K, key biology. Why have they gone to the trouble of doing that? It's to represent that they're all connected. So if you start doing anything with nutrients, then the effect will be felt in those two directions. It'll have an impact on the physical structure of the soil. I mentioned calcium magnesium ratio. If we start putting lime out there, we'll affect the calcium magnesium ratio, which in fact affects the physical structure of that soil. Right. If we put calcium down here, we'll affect the pH, and that then has an effect on the biology as well. So whatever you do, if you do some work with, say, compost or compost teas, or you buy in some biological inoculums as a last resort, then that'll have an effect on the nutrient availability and nutrient uptake. Remember we talked about the total exchange and available? That never remains static. They're always moving because that's moving and the biology responds to the seasonal effects. And we know that that happens when we start digging around in the soil. You can see that happening.